Hello and welcome to Community Conversations. I'm your host, KK Konishiro. Every year, the Fremont Education Foundation honors individuals and organizations for their support of students and education in our community. On Friday, February 22nd, one member of the Fremont Unified School District and two outstanding organizations will be recognized at the Foundation's 17th Annual Excellence in Education Gala at the Fremont Marriott. Here to speak about this amazing event and the even more amazing people who will be honored and the other great things attendees can expect are Fremont Education Foundation board members Kathy Kimberlin, Faria Khan, and Sharia Rustra. Thank you so so much for being here. This is so exciting. 17th annual, yep. Miss President. Wow. <laughs> it's amazing. Wow, this amazing. is incredible. Now, I know it's been a couple years since you guys have been on the show to talk about this amazing event, but can you remind our viewers um, of the Fremont Education Foundation, all the great things that you guys do for the students and in and out of the classroom as well? So one of our signature um, programs that we have is our after school band program, which we offer at every single elementary school in Fremont for grades four through six. Four through six. And okay. it's after school. Um, and then of course we have our annual um, gala that's coming up on February 22nd and that supports our innovative education grant program. Okay. And all of those grants go towards our amazing teachers yes. in the district. And so they can apply for those grants and we award up to $3,000. And then finally wow. we have sports scholarships for um, you know, deserving high school athletes who would like to play after school sports but that need a little bit of extra you know, help with financially. financially. So those are our great programs that we have. We really support the whole child with sports, music, and academics. Okay. Just a little bit. bit. No, not much. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Okay. As one of your showcase events, can you tell us, Kathy, I'm going to direct this at you, can you tell us the history of the Excellence in Education Gala? How did it start? How did you develop it? Where did this idea come from to make it such a great event today? Well, I can answer some of that. Okay. And <laughs> I believe it started as a luncheon. Mm -hmm. And it started as a luncheon, so it was very low key. And as, it, as we've built up, it's gotten a little fancier and a little fancier and a little more creative. Mm -hmm. uh, some years it's full out wacky, some <laughs> years it's very luxurious. And we always honor our um, district person and our community person or people. And uh, as you said, we've been doing it for 17 years. Yeah. Um, originally, Sharia, do you remember how it, the impetus of why we did started it? That was before my time. That's what I'm, yeah. But Denise Mapelli was our first honoree. Oh, she was wow. a teacher at Brookville yeah. at the mm -hmm. time. She's now a principal at Mission Valley, mm -hmm. and she's actually now on our board as well. So oh. she's kind of come full circle. Mm -hmm. So she was teacher of the year that year yes. for the district, um, the year that she got the honoree for Fremont Unified, or okay. for FEF, sorry. So how many years <coughs> was it a luncheon? I don't even remember that. I want to say only one or two. Yeah, just okay. a few. Okay. And I think they did a fashion show mm -hmm. at one of them. Yeah, it was before yeah, my yeah, time. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's it was way before all our time. <laughs> so there, yeah. you go. there you go. So long ago. <laughs> now, Sharia, besides raising money for this great cause, the gala honors two special people, mm -hmm. organizations every year for a district and community-wide. Mm -hmm. um, what is the criteria that you as board members have to think about when you're selecting your honorees? And can you give us some of the people you've recognized in the past besides Denise? Yes. So some of the people we've honored in the past have been Fremont Flowers. I'm Dirk Lorenz. Right. I'm owner of that. We have honored Fremont Bank. We have honored Dr. Um, Morris, mm -hmm. who was the former superintendent. Uh, Linda Anderson, who was a CNI um, Curriculum and Instruction Director. Okay. Um, gosh, it's been so many. Just, um, I know. Nina Moore. Nina Moore, yeah. yes. Laura Calvert. Yep, Laura Calvert. Um, some people yeah. who have helped us through the years, really okay. been in the trenches. Yeah. Um, even one of the coaches from um, Kennedy. Yes, yes, I remember that one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so what we do is we go through a brainstorming list of community and FUSD, and we literally just talk about what have they done for our community, what have they done for the district, what have they done for FEF. So we definitely want um, somebody who has done something not Absolutely. only big picture, but knows FEF, has supported us, even if it's just attend a gala, yeah. <laughs> um, or mm -hmm. you know, will come read a grant, or is at our fun run, something so that they actually know the foundation. Okay. Um, and so that's really important to us that we keep that connection with whoever that honoree is. And if you look at the list, which is on our website, <laughs> of all of them, somehow most of those people are still involved. Um, they're either that's at the amazing. yeah, they're either yeah. at the gala, or if we need something in a pinch, there's somebody for one little task mm -hmm. they'll help us out with if they're still in the community. Yeah. Um, I expect Nina Moore to come back um, mm -hmm. this year, even though she's out of the area. Um, mm -hmm. So we definitely have longtime supporters, and it's great that we can honor them every year for their service, not only to FEF, but to the community of Fremont and Fremont Unified. Okay, so are you guys open to um, say community? person wants to nominate a certain teacher or an, another organization, do you listen to those kind of things or do, you, do they fill out applications or you guys just 
brainstorm. So amongst the board, because we need somebody who, we definitely want someone who's tied to the foundation. Yeah. So the people who know that the best is the board, obviously. Yeah. Um, and so if there's anybody on our associate board, we have an associate board list. Okay. So they'll give feedback to one of us um, and on the board, our actual board, who we meet monthly, um, we okay. ultimately decide. Perfect, perfect. Now, I wish we had a drum roll, Ms. Oh. President. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can you squelch the question and tell us who the honorees this year are? This is so, so exciting. We are. We're really excited this year because we're um, honoring Sue Lemke from oh, wow. FUSD, and she's so deserving. Yes. Absolutely. She's amazing. She, um, you know, obviously dedicates so much of her time to the students of FUSD. And we have two community honorees who have always been there, not just for FEF, but for um, FUSD. I know that they are really good partners with FUSD, and that's Kaiser Permanente and Washington Hospital Health Healthcare System. That and was so, a hard one, huh? To decide one. So yeah, that's both. that's why we decided both because we really could pick, right. um, you know, one other. Uh, one or the other because they they are so supportive of our community at large and you know mm -hmm. um, also our students yeah so we are great. very excited to have them you know be honored at our gala okay so you have the honorees who got to break the news to them that they won um, so uh, when yeah else? so we met at the district office for Sue Lemke, uh, those of us on the board who were available. Okay. And I had told her that I needed her help in planning the gala. <laughs> that's uh, good. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. really good because she wouldn't have come. No. And then she um, started taking notes. Taking notes. <laughs> yeah, it was I said, we're doing a science theme, and since you're a former science teacher, you know, can you help me get some ideas? What should the flower arrangements look like? Mm. It's so not her. Yeah. So <laughs> she was yeah, taking notes, yeah. and then we broke her, broke the news <laughs> to her, and she was just overwhelmed, I think. Oh, I um, bet. I bet. Yeah. And so she, that's how we told her. Um, Mm -hmm. I had contacted um, representatives from Washington Hospital okay. in Kaiser and let them know um, one I had talked to on the phone and the other I had saw actually at an event back in November and nice. let her know there. Nice. Yeah, it's exciting. Oh, I love breaking news like yeah. that. Good news. Yeah. <laughs> Good news. And that's more of the fun. It's different yeah. every yeah. year. We kind of yeah. do yeah. sneaky and fun and exciting. Yeah. A little uh -huh. Different every year. Now, every year you ha usually have a theme. Mm -hmm. Is this year any different? Do you have a theme? Yeah. It is science. Mm -hmm. as okay. It really is science. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It wasn't just like a, <laughs> yeah. a joke with Sue Lumpke when we told her. Um, it really is science. And so um, we're hoping people will come in lab coats and maybe some goggles. Or, oh, how fun uh, is we've that? We've been a few people and they were like, we'll be H and we'll be 2 and they'll be O. Or, you know, oh, yeah. like, they have a lot of ideas going Einstein there. wig. Yeah. You can do like, you know, <gasps> frizzle. <laughs> you know, magic school bus kind of thing. It'll be great. <laughs> we, we expect to see a lot of wacky. Can you give us hints of what you guys are wearing? You three? Uh, sorry. Top C. Secret. Top secret, you guys. <laughs> that means you don't know. <laughs> okay, so when I go to the event, mm -hmm. I know we're going to have an award ceremony and listen to all of that, which is great. What else can I do uh, besides, you know, listening to the honorees? What, ha what can, as an attendee, what can I expect? Well, we're very excited to have back Alex Savage from KTVU nice. too, very as nice our man. MC, very nice man, and has been doing this now for his third year. Wow! Um, so he's coming after, because um, now he works nights, so he's coming right yeah. from the set <laughs> to here, mm. um, into Fremont, and so we're very excited to have him come. Um, we'll have silent auction um, and raffle prices again, okay. like we always do. Beautiful baskets, um, beautiful prices donated from community members and yeah. different businesses and organizations yeah. in the community, which is great for us. Yeah. And that's one of the things I love going to see, besides <laughs> the honorees. Um, and then there'll be some music and a little dancing from student performers oh, um, from our schools. That's kind of been our tradition the last few years. Okay. Um, and it's just a great way to see the arts, Yeah, which often are How do you lost. pick those students to do those particular musical moments? So the last few years, we've had some dynamic people right. that have just consistently come through. Because, okay. you know, sometimes if we don't know them and never seen them right. perform, right. one with 300 people, we don't take that chance. Um, and so the last few years, Thornton Junior High School has had some dynamic dancers really? come out. And also from other schools, um, they have uh, the teacher there has a dance um, studio. And so okay. she has performers from across the district. And so they come. And last year at the last minute, literally last minute, like two days before the gala, uh -huh. um, teacher at Thornton, Miss Souza, she came through to sing for us because our other person backed she out. She sings? Yeah. Yeah, she, oh my God, it was spectacular. It was amazing. It was amazing. And she actually changed the words to a song. It was just for uh, that night. Yep. Nice. Like two days notice. 
I hate it when people hold out on us like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but got? now, yeah. but now that we know about her, yes. we, we want her back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Does she know this? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And before we go on air. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's always the best when we have entertainment from our district too. Yes. Yeah. Students and teachers in our district. Yes. That's just the best. Yes. It brings everything home. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah. And we're hoping to have just one more thing. I'm hoping to have some teachers there who have actually received the awards because it's nice to like this is what we're here for. We're raising money mm -hmm, for right. grants for students and for teachers to implement those best practices. And so here are some that we want you to hear about. Yeah. And so we're hoping that we'll have a few there on the night of the event Good. to share that in person. That'd be awesome. Yeah. This is so exciting. And I can't still believe it's 17 years. But anyways, <laughs> that means you guys are getting older. <laughs> okay, not me. <laughs> now, you guys have partnered with amazing people and, organiza and organizations to put this event on. Uh, who can you give us? ideas of who has helped you in the past, who is helping you now, how are they involved, how does this work? So Fremont Bank Foundation has been our biggest supporter as yeah. they are with many other organizations around the city. Mm -hmm. And so they are um, you know, our Platinum Foundation sponsor. So they, they support us, they, all, they have people that attend every year. And then of course um, Fremont Flowers, Dirk Lorenz helps provide our fabulous centerpieces which are customized with you know every you know to the theme yeah so that that's just amazing and then we have um, Ryan Willer who's a teacher at Irvington High School okay he helps us with our sound system oh nice yeah so he's been doing that for I think what, three, three years, years no? three years yeah. so okay. he brings like a crew of students and they oh, set everything great. up yeah. and they do the yeah. yeah they do the lighting they do the sound they they help with the you know the PowerPoint presentation all of that so but they actually get to work an event mm -hmm. yes they got yeah. to work so oh, that's great. those are some of the people and you know, as she mentioned, we have our student, the students come and showcase their talent. Yeah, that's good. And the whole gala is there to raise money, of course, and yeah. so we already have a lot of sponsors mm -hmm. um, for those as well as Fremont Bank, but also we have uh, Washington Hospital okay. is um, one of our top sponsors this year, as well as Banner Construction. Yeah, Banner Construction, um, yeah. And then we have some table sponsors. Yeah. Um, Senator Wykowski is going to nice, be there, of course, nice. um, mm -hmm. and sponsoring a couple tables. Um, the Local Teachers Association will be there sponsoring mm -hmm. a table. Um, business services from Fremont Unified okay. um, has a table. Um, Republic right. Republic Services okay. is going to be good. there. Yep. So if anyone's watching this and they would like to volunteer, could they just individually volunteer to help you decorate, clean up, whatever? So we usually need help selling raffle tickets. Yes. <laughs> um, the setup is pretty organized. Um, uh, we kind of got our thing down. We do have student volunteers that we rely on, so they okay. can get community service. So yeah. 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 Um, we really want to give students the opportunity to give back to the community, especially those that have maybe received grants from us, from right. like our sports right. mm -hmm. fund. Right. Um, it's a nice way for them to give back sometimes. And so we rely on about a dozen student volunteers to help oversee just making sure, you know, everyone's happy and everyone's buying their raffle tickets and um, silent auction prizes. Um, but if there's an adult who would like to volunteer <laughs> to see what this is all about. Are you volunteering? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew um, that was going to happen. <laughs> there are definitely last minute tasks and things like that that yeah. we can do. Mm -hmm. um, we're really looking for raffle prices right now, and so we are asking f it definitely for those, but if there was a volunteer who wanted to help go okay. out in the community who had the time to get prizes for us, okay. um, because mm -hmm. that's just pure profit for us. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. so it's a great yeah. way for us to, you know, what we make from raffles and silent auction can go to two or three teachers. Absolutely. So, yeah. um, this is really and, and it would be a good way for someone to see if they would be interested in joining our board, mm -hmm. you know, being a, ah. a long-term partner with us. Good. Mm -hmm. So that would be a good way to get mm -hmm. their foot in the door and kind of see what we do, see what our event's like. Okay. Yeah. So if I've never heard of your event, I'm not on your mailing list, if I want more information, how would I go about finding about this event or even about FEF? You can go to our website. Please repeat it. <laughs> Fremont-education.org. And so right on the front page, you can, there's a big, um, you know, a graphic with our logo okay. and, I mean, with our uh, okay. gala information. So you just, just click, click on it and it'll take you to our event registration page. And then you can also find out more about the Innovative Education Grant Program and um, look at who's received grants in the past and what kind of projects they've done. Okay. So it's a really good way to, you know, get to know about the, the long-term impact we have on, right. our, on our schools yeah. and our students. And also more information if I want to be a board member, right? Yes. Okay, so anything I want email. to know about you guys. Mm -hmm. You can just send an email to the email on, on uh, our site, yeah. Okay. And you'll find a link on the FUSD site to us, and then we're also on oh. Facebook. Yep. Very good. Mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, besides, you know, the, the three events that you talked about, you know, music, uh, after school music, um, ba our band program, the gala, and then is it still called the Guy Emanuel mm -hmm. Sports? Okay. Um, what else for our viewers who don't know you? 
Well, can you explain what else you do for the schools, for the students throughout the year that you want to highlight that they may have never known until you said something? Well, we just finished up a partnership with Fremont Unified with a donation for the um, Paradise people suffering from oh, the fires nice. and so the Butte County School District mm -hmm. we're helping them and we sent a donation that I think totaled over seven thousand yep. dollars Wow yeah. and yeah. so wow that yeah. was pretty amazing. That so, is amazing so things like that as they come up as the need comes up we'll, okay. you know partner with the, the district and, and kind of help them through and uh, coordinate it for them and so we were able to do that that's great. Another thing we do as part of our innovative education grant program is we set aside a certain amount for a district grant. And so Faria has been working on a wonderful project this mm -hmm. year yes. to bring science to all the elementary schools. Yeah. And she yeah. can tell you about that. So we have a, a coding and maker event at every oh. single elementary oh, school. Fun. So some of the schools have chosen to do it during the day. So we yeah. have workshops during the day. And then some of them have chosen to do a family night. So that will be starting up in February. And actually, um, those partners, the, the organizations we partner with, they were, they're they're going to be at the gala okay. and they're going to be showcasing what kind of activities the students are going to be doing. This so it's, it's a great way to, for yeah. everyone to really see um, you know, and experience hands-on uh, what the students are experiencing. Which is a good thing. Yes, yeah. absolutely. It's fun. Well, I can't believe it's been 17 years. I have a lot of history with the three yes. of you, mm -hmm. and I wish you the best of luck. I know you guys are going to succeed again mm -hmm. and have a good time, and I'll hopefully be there. I'm yes. not sure yet, yes. but from everyone here at Community Conversations, we appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you great. so much. Thanks.